Hey you guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Asha Blaine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first time I've ever made a video about anything educational in terms of music. Usually I just do performances, but now I have people asking me a lot of stuff in regards to my solo acoustic setup. So today I'm going to show you um, what I do to get that set up, how I get a good sound for my audiences, and also how to book gigs. I might, I might make a separate video for that, but today I'm mostly going to focus on my equipment and all the fun stuff I use. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I'm a solo acoustic performer in Denver, Colorado. I play three to four times a week during the summer and uh, during the fall and winter, maybe like one to two times a week. Um, and then I teach lessons on the side too. So, um, yeah, I've been doing this for about two years. So I actually taught myself how to play guitar two years ago during COVID. Um, I had kind of learned like a couple of years ago before COVID happened how to do chords and I had other guitar players teach me how to do stuff like just here and there. Um, but I didn't really like apply it until COVID <laughs> and I told myself like I, I don't want to have a real job. I, I think I'm going to try this performance thing. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm very happy and lucky to be doing it here in Denver. And um, so anyway, um, on with the music equipment. All right, you guys, so I'm in my living room. So this kind of looks a little scattered right now, but I'm just going to kind of give you like a tour of my setup. So um, right here, first, I'm going to show you this tower. This is my sound system right here. Um, and I'm going to put all these in like the um, in the link um, so that you guys can find this if you want. It's called the EV30. EV30. And I would say it's... I would say it's about as good as the Bose tower if you're familiar with that but this this thing is so like incredible so you got your high ends that come out on this pole and then you've got your bass and like subwoofer like right here so the reason I got this is because I have a kick stomp it's called a wazinator and it's the freaking coolest thing in my opinion it's I used to use my cajon to kick as you can see, it's all like tattered up and stuff, but um, right now I just sit on that. I don't actually use it to beat on it, but this wasinator, when I plug it in, I'll show you guys, um, but it's made of wood, um, it weighs literally two pounds, um, but when I kick it, it comes through this base subwoofer, like, so nice. Like, I, I love it so much. Um, so we're going to check out the back, the back portion of this EV30. All right, back here you have all your lines. Um, I have my kick plugged in right here, um, my guitar and my vocal, and also I'm gonna turn this on right here. So you have your mix out. You've got eight channels. This turns on right here. So um, I'm probably not going to explain too much in detail because this is like if you decide to purchase this, this is like self-explanatory, but you can um, choose all of your settings like on your vocal mic, like you can choose to have delay, um, reverb, you can choose your EQ, um, and same with all these other inputs. Um, then I have this deal. This is, this thing to me is really cool. It's called um, TC Helicon Play Acoustic. And again, I will put all of these, like I will link all of these in the description so that you guys can see. So basically what this is, is it actually, so the other Helicons that came out, they only do vocals, but this one is like, especially for acoustic, it does, so you have your guitar, acoustic guitar plugin, and I have my vocal mic plug-in. And what this does is it will transform your voice. So you can put in like a harmony with your voice if you sing into it, if you go to like certain settings. I honestly use this to EQ my guitar and add like a little bit of sparkle to it and that's it. Um, and like, so with my voice, all I do is add delay. So all this, all I'm using on this is delay, even though there's like, <laughs> literally a thousand settings on here. I don't change the settings 
ever because I don't want to like auto tune my voice and I don't want to put a harmony onto it. Um, so yeah, I mean this, this, I think this thing costs like maybe 300 bucks, if not more, 350. So anyway, I recommend this if you just want to get like a good EQ with your guitar and with your voice. And if you want reverb, like a good reverb and delay, like this is, this is what I use. This is just kind of like what makes me feel comfortable, but I literally don't use any other settings. Um, I actually don't even really maximize this tool. You might not even need something like this, but I, I don't know. This just is one of the tools that makes me feel comfy. <laughs> and so, so I actually, there's like, I have like four plugins right now and all of them, my guitar and my vocal are going to the back of my, of my EV. And the, this, uh, this one is going to my actual microphone and this one is going to my actual guitar. All right, this microphone right here is the Shure Beta microphone. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know a ton of detail on this microphone. I just know I've always used it. It's always been a solid microphone, and I, I believe it's one of like the best like microphones on the market right now for live performances. Shure SM Beta, I think it's, I think it's called. Let's look at it. I think it came off, but anyway, yeah. Mic stand just sitting there, and I and then I have this for my iPod. It's my iPod holder, and I'll show you guys this here in a minute. Um, okay, so my guitar. Um, so this, this is called Innovation. Um, and to be honest with you, I believe this is made in China. When I when. When this was bought, I bought this like five years ago. It's it's like the only guitar I've ever played. Um, so I I honestly I'm still learning about acoustic guitars. So this this has just been like my first guitar. So I'll tell you the pros and cons of this specific guitar. The pros, it looks awesome. <laughs> uh, it looks awesome, right? And I believe I got it for like honestly five hundred bucks on. Amazon, I think. I think it was. my the, the guitarist I was playing with at the time, I think he was the one who kind of ordered it for me, so I don't really know all the details, but I believe that's what's going on. Um, so, in terms of, like, how it sounds, I'll show you in a minute how it sounds, like, raw, but the reason I have the Helicon is because I'm not crazy about this particular guitar's raw sound. It's it's different. It doesn't have, in my opinion, it doesn't have the true acoustic sound, but it, to me, it can get the job done with the TC Helicon. Um, but the reason I really like this guitar is because it's super reliable, super durable. Because I, um, All right, I'm just gonna face you guys. So like, okay, so the Ovation, the the reason I love why I choose the Ovation for now um, is because, I, first of all, I'm used to it. It's got the shallow body um, behind, so it actually fits like really comfortable for like my body type. It doesn't feel like my hands are like out here or anything. Um, it's easy, it's really easy to use too, like when I kick, it's like, I don't feel like it's like getting in my way. So I like the shallow body. Um, there's other ovations I could get that are way more expensive that have a shallow body, but I kind of need to like build my way up to that. <laughs> the reason I like the ovation so much is because I, this guitar is meant to handle like so much wear and tear. Like this, I never have strings pop off of it. Um, it doesn't really get worn down like with other acoustic guitars that are constantly being packed away and like brought out and just used constantly it's it's there's a lot more wear and tear on those guitars and it can it's more easily like the neck is gonna bend easier the body's gonna crack um just easier too so the this ovation i mean it's built differently like uh, some of it is plastic so it's just, it is more durable for what I'm doing 
like on a weekly basis. I'm using this guitar all the time. I'm constantly taking it out. I'm constantly playing with it. I'm constantly learning new songs with it. So in my opinion right now, it works for me. Um, like I said before, the raw sound of it, I think could be better. And like I said, I want to work my way up to like a better ovation at some point. But for right now, like I'm, I'm okay with this particular guitar. Um, and the, the TC Helicon, the EQing and kind of like clarity that it gives to the ovation, I feel like really, um, helps with it too. Okay, so I just put my iPad in front of me, my iPad holder. I have to have this as I'm playing because I actually get to control my sound and I get to like see my lyrics and stuff. So it's important for me to have this specific tool. Um, so right now I'm going to go to the, um, so I just picked an app. It's called, um, set to go. I just picked an app. It's called set to go. And here's my set list. So I can click on anything right here. Like, and here's my chord sheet. Here's everything I can read. And I'm sorry guys. Some of you are going to be like, why do you even need you know, to look at lyrics. Well, I have like 2,000 songs in my head, okay? Look at all these songs that I have to learn for other bands. Like, oh my gosh, there's so many. So anyway, this is, I love my iPad. I bring it with me everywhere to every gig. Um, okay, so what I just did now is the EV, the Evolve 30 has its own app for mixing and sound. So I click on this, okay, and then I want to connect. I want to connect my iPad Bluetooth to the Evolve Bluetooth, and you can like see that up there. Okay, so right here we have the Evolve 30 mixer. So I can mix, I can choose my sub level right here. I can choose my bass level, my mids, and my highs right here. Um, I don't really mess with that. I kind of leave everything at zero. Um, you can also choose to mute. Right now it's muted. Right now I just or I uh, turned off the mute. Hey! So you can hear me coming through. Okay, I'm going to mute that. So down here we're going to go to Edit Mixer. Okay? And then with all my channels, I can edit... Channel 1 is vocals. Channel 2 is guitar. Channel 3 is my stomp. Um, yeah, and these are other channels I'm not currently using. And then I have my main and my aux, but I don't really use those unless I'm using in-ears, which I can do a totally different video on my in-ears. Um, I think that this thing has some really cool features because you can control everything you need to control with your sound, like right in front of you. You don't have to go to the back of the mixer and, and mix that. So it also has like a music mode. So like you can do music, live, speech, or club. You can't really see because my camera's not freaking focusing. What the heck? Um, so yeah, these are really cool. You don't have to just use this for like music. You can do like if you're DJing, if you're speaking at an event, or like you're just doing like a backyard party. I actually use this, use my system a lot for backyard parties. Um, and it's super easy to tear down and set up too. So it only takes me like maybe 20 minutes if I'm hustling to settle up, uh, to, uh, to set up. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to sit down and show you kind of my setup and just kind of like walk you through how I get set up when all this is sitting here in like the things I'm turning off and the things I'm turning on. It's actually not that bad of a setup once you get used to it. I feel like it's pretty efficient and just me get the job done in such like a, a raw way. You know, it's everything is very like organic for me. And I think that the best thing about this is the Evolve. It's like it has to me like the best sound. <laughs> I love it. It works in like any environment. All right. So a couple things I need to mention is my Ovation does have, um, it has a bass, middle, and treble EQ up here, um, and it has a tuner, so I can tune anytime I need. I don't need to bring a tuner. Okay, so now my system is on, and as you can tell, there's a little bit of reverb in there because that's that's what I like to have in my shows. It can it can sound like bigger. 
um, depending where I'm at, and I really love that sound. Um, so this is me sitting. Me sitting, just getting ready. I also forgot to mention that I do have a tambourine on my left foot that I kick, so I'll show you that. So literally, I just slide my foot through and put it down. And it's really easy. I just want to test my... So what I do to sound check myself is I want to test my bass. You probably can't see it right now, but you can hear, you can hear it coming through the sub, and it just sounds so cool. And I've added a little bit of reverb to that as well, just so it's not so like hollow or uh, shallow sounding. So that's really cool. Okay. So then on my Helicon, so this is my, this is what my guitar sounds like without being plugged in. a different sounding guitar but I just I like there's so many features I love about this guitar like it has the shallow back or it has the um, the shallow body back you know and it's like easy for me to just like deal with <laughs> up here but so I'm going to turn on the helicon and then you guys can hear maybe a difference in the guitar um, with the clarity in here and not only will it uh, change my guitar tone a little bit, but it's going to add a little bit of more delay to my voice, and that's all. of uh, how everything is being set up and my sound. Um, so I think some of you have the question too, like, wow, how are you doing all this stuff? I can make a separate video on how I'm doing all four things at once and how it's actually not as crazy, like it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> it's like learning how to tie your shoe. Like you can, you can figure it out. It'd be, it wouldn't be that bad. But anyway, um, this is pretty much how I run my system. I love it. I'm, um, it's efficient and sufficient for me. I like the rawness of everything. Um. Thank you. 
right. Uh, anyway, you guys, I hope that this helped you. I hope that my video wasn't too, like, I don't know, disorganized, but maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, just my goal is to help educate you on tools. I feel like my biggest, here's what I'll tell you. My biggest problem when I first started doing this obviously was confidence, but so much of it, of it had to do with sound. Like how did I sound to myself? So it's like, I can practice as much as I want in my bedroom with no sound essentially. Um, but when you get out into the real world and you get out onto different stages and different areas, you know, the sound is always different depending on whether you're outside or inside and the reflection of the noise. I mean, that can really change a situation. So when I first was doing this, I had not the greatest sound setup, to be honest. I was like, I was, I struggled. <laughs> and, and, but honestly, the, the struggle made me the mistakes made me realize like, okay, I need to change things. Like, how can I, how can I do this? So, I mean, the thing is too, you know, if you want good sound and you want something that's going to make you feel comfortable, like no matter what um, kind of venue that you're in or scenario that you're in, I, I suggest that you set aside some money and you, you know, make these investments because it, it will serve you. It served me so much. And I think that I ended up getting more gigs because of my sound. But not only that, like if my sound sucks, like, and I'm not using this, like it's hard for me to fully, I think, express or perform as an artist. And so to me, and I know so many musicians can relate to this, like to me, the sound is just like number one. <laughs> you know, if I don't have good sound, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> um, sometimes I use in-ears depending on the situation. Like if I'm in a bit, if I'm in a really big room or a really big, atmosphere outside I will use in-ears and I can do a separate video on that too if you guys are like interested like how do you set up your in-ears um you know in like big environments and stuff um so anyway I hope this video was helpful if you have any more questions like please let me know in the comments um I'm happy to help wherever I can with whatever I can my next video is gonna be on how do you book your own gigs how do you book your own shows because i do not use a booking agent i do all my own stuff all by myself i'm very steady i make a full-time wage with it single mama you know i'm not you know so i do okay with it i do pretty good i i'm um i'm i'm happy with it so anyway let me know what you think let me know your thoughts and yeah thanks for watching